Good evening. It's so great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate um, on this wonderful occasion um, that we are bringing out a new award to follow our band students and, and live on. I want to welcome everyone as we honor the memory of one of our own, uh, the late Corbin Ferris. And I'm pleased to welcome Corbin's family, friends, Hope Band alums, and all gathered here today as we kick off uh, this dedicatory award. Corbin came to me as a freshman, and he went to Our Savior Lutheran School. Um, and if, if, those, if anyone here knows about Our Savior Lutheran, um, it's a wonderful school, tucked uh, inside Grand Lunch, but it's pretty small. So coming into a 200-person uh, band <laughs> must have been quite a situation. And I know that when I met him, I, I'm pretty sure I told him, and I probably told his folks, that the band is a great job of shrinking Holt High School. Um, you, you, you meet folks before school begins, and all of a sudden there's a lot of people in the halls that you know. And that's a big point of pride for me. I felt that way in my marching band years. Um, a gigantic place like Michigan State, you see band jackets just in the crowd, and you know that you belong. Um, and I, I remember always thinking that, and like I said, I probably told him and his parents that. Um, Corbin was very quiet, especially at first, um, but I could tell that he took to the band immediately. And he would do extra work to improve, and he knew what the right thing to do was. He knew the proper way to behave, and he knew how to act. And he always did the right thing, without necessarily um, broadcasting it all the time. Some people in high school um, <laughs> have, have trouble not broadcasting that they're doing the right thing. <laughs> um, in a positive way, but leading very vocally. Um, he was always doing the right thing, and he really just, he was an integral part, just as a, as a leader in our band, by example in other ways. Tonight, I brought our whole wind ensemble here uh, to perform a piece as we continue to go on the journey of, of dealing with this situation of Corbin's death. Um, and I immediately knew which piece I wanted to play. Uh, it's called A Childhood Hymn by David Holzinger. And it's a favorite of mine. Um, it has been for years, and I've never programmed it on a concert because I feel that it's very, um, it's so beautiful. Many of you are going to know this piece when we begin to play it. And Holzinger's treatment is just amazing. Um, it's simple but amazing. But I always was hesitant to program it in one of our concerts because there's so many people, and people can whisper and talk, and I just thought that might change the effect here. So. I'll speak a little more after the Wind Ensemble performs. This will be brief. This, this whole um, event will be brief and, and special, I think. But this school year, it's been so wonderful to be back with these students after a year off. And I think this is the best way I know how to give a dedication to Corbin and this wonderful young man. So we will now perform a childhood hymn.
Wonderful job, man. Thank you very much. As I mentioned, when I um, thought about how I wanted to honor Corbin, I knew that was the piece that I wanted to perform with our wind ensemble. And I'm so happy we could perform it for you indoors. I think the effect is obviously um, most obvious indoors. But I'm very proud to announce a new award that's going to be given at the end of every marching band season in honor of Corbin's memory. This plaque will hang in the band room. See, it's got Corbin's picture here. And it will hang with the other awards preserving Corbin's memory for many years to come. Um, in addition to receiving your name on the plaque, the recipient will receive the marching band jacket. Um, that is kind of spirit wear. I think I can see a few in the crowd right now. Um, monogrammed with their name. And that is the gift from the Corbin Ferris Award recipient that we partnered with the Holt Community Foundation with. The award will go to the most improved marching band student. And as I said, when I think of Corbin, I think of a true leader by example. And this is just as valuable as those vocal leaders who I beg to keep just working and working so hard to bring people along. Someone who's dedicated but quiet and doing what they're supposed to, handling themselves well and working to improve at all times, just like Corbin. Our first winner may be a little bit of a surprise because this ninth grader is not right out front teaching and being a vocal leader. But ever since I've witnessed this student way back at freshman drills, I notice there's times when maybe section mates aren't paying attention and there's a gentle nudge. Hey, pay attention. <laughs> there's a time and place for games and silliness, but when Mr. Emerson or another teacher's talking, it's time to work. And to watch this young person come in as a ninth grader, not knowing anything about marching, and to see their attitude so strong, to see them grow into a leader by example as a freshman made this choice a little bit more clear. Unfortunately, because of all of the supply chain issues, I can't give the jacket tonight. <laughs> um, that will be on back order, and as soon as it's in, I will give it to you. But again, I really think this person um, mirrors a lot of what we saw in Corbin and loved about him. His name's Tyler Fletcher. Tyler, I know you're here. Why don't you come on up here? just a few minutes. I'd love to catch up for a moment before we go outside for our uh, performance uh, and we do our final concert outside of the stadium tonight. But we are pretty much concluded with this portion. Very special of you to come tonight for this brief presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did fabulous work with Ensemble. Thank you so much. Thank you.